guys, what is up? And today we are talking about Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor. Give versus Anthony is off. That that that's basically what has happened. Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor put out a video today in which he confirmed that any son Gib versus Anthony Taylor is not happening. I'm kind of disappointed by this news. I, re I, I actually am. I think that Anthony is someone that's not necessarily the quote-unquote best fighter. And I also think that um, I really respect <clears throat> Gib as a person, as a fighter. And he's kind of disappointed me. He's kind of left me with a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Anthony kind of has more clout than someone like a YouTuber. You know, if Gib were to beat this ex-MMA guy, someone that fought Tommy Fury, it would bring a lot more clout and relevancy and potential um, interest in him from people like Showtime or uh, DAZN. And I think that, you know, many people, including myself, think that Gib would beat Anthony, that he would actually, like, win. Anthony, judging from his video, um, in his, well, not from his video, Anthony had a fight before the Jake Paul versus Tywin Woodley 2 undercard, and he, ha he had a fight that he lost, which there's no footage of, but there was a fight that he did where he looked very similar to Gib in his style and, and in his stance. He seemed like Gib, but less polished. So I think Gib versus Anthony would be a tough competitive fight for both fighters. And I think it would end with Gib winning. And if Gib won, that'd be huge for him. Um, and then I think Anthony would be certified a bum at that point. But still, it would be awesome. And I think that, you know, imagine if Gib KO'd Anthony. I don't think that would happen. People would be like, oh my god, Tommy Fury, a pro boxer, couldn't do that. But Gib, a YouTuber who, got, who lost to Jake Paul in the first round, won. What a comeback story. So I am very surprised and disappointed. But I think I know why Gib is not fighting Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor. And that is this. So, Showstar did a poll on their Instagram account um, on who Gib should fight. Slim or Anthony? And Slim got the overwhelming majority. And we know that Showstar goes with what the people want. So Slim versus Gib looks very likely. Um, as Anthony said that both Slim and Gib did not respond to his DMs and his messages. Um, and I do think that it's a missed opportunity for, for Anthony because I think, I don't hate the guy, but he's kind of annoying, but he's a showman. He knows how to sell a fight, and I think Showstar Boxing and its events could have very much um, taken advantage of Anthony, and he could have elevated it to a, more, to a different kind of level. But I think that Slim and Gib are going to be fighting, um, and I think Slim is going to so fight on social knockout, but I don't think it's going to be until, like, the springtime, maybe? Now, let's say, hypothetically, Slim and Gib fights, fights who's winning. Everyone can agree it's Gib. You know, Slim, I think, is a hype job. He's fought bums his whole career. He's basically Jake Paul 2.0, minus that Jake actually fought Tyron Woodley, who was somewhat of a good fighter. Um, and I think that Gib would just tire him out, and we saw what that Slim, um, when in his last fight, he can't deal with the good jab, and he got rocked. You'll see the footage right there. Um, the most basic of shots, and he got rocked, and he got tired. So I think that Gib would want it more than Slim, and I think he deserves it more than Slim, and we can finally get Slim off of our plates. I think Slim could hurt Gib, but I don't think it wouldn't make Gib quit. I think Gib will hurt and uh, Slim, I don't know if it'll make him like wobbly, but he will tire him out and he will get very lousy and sloppy. And Slim has never had a fight where he's had to fight, where he's had to go into those, those trenches. And I don't think he has what it takes. And I think that Gib is pressure, his cardio, and also his, he has a good jab. He knows what he's doing in there. And Jake is a perfect example of, yes, he beat Tyron, but Tyron knew somewhat what he was doing, and Jake nearly lost both fights. Um, and I still think that first fight should have been a draw. But anyways, Dean the Great called out Anthony, and Happy Punch promo, which is um, owned by um, Fuzzy and Keemstar, and they're planning a fight, some a, a promotional event. It looks like Dean the Great, who seems to be their protege, is going to be the main event, and Anthony Taylor is down to fight him. Controversial opinion. I see Anthony being um, this Dean the Great guy. Now, don't get me wrong. Dean has hands. He's a good fighter. I've seen him in his YouTube videos. He's good. But he's never been in an actual fight before. He's not fought with 10 ounce gloves, no headgear, in front of thousands of people and millions on pay-per-view. Yes, he's fought in front of crowds, but not exceeding 1,000. So with a camp and the pressure and in a fight with the, with the rules and stuff, it's a different game. Dean has fought guys, a lot of them, that have never fought before, that are guys that are just picked out from the streets. And Anthony fought Tommy Fury. So Anthony 
has have faced tougher competition than Dean the Great has, and he's been on a bigger stage than Dean the Great. And I think because of his experience and his ability that I, to take punch, well, I don't know if he, he can take punches, but, and again, Anthony is very sloppy, he's lazy, and I think it would be competitive, but I think that Anthony would just, maybe I'll point him, would just brawl him at that point, and Dean wouldn't know how to handle those deep waters. Um, and again, Dean is a hype job, so we gotta keep our expectations here, and not like, up here. Um, so yeah, I, I, but you know what? I, I might be completely wrong, but I hope Anthony does fight Dean because I think Anthony is a great, like, um, he's a great person to have in the YouTube boxing scene because he definitely is that showman. He definitely owns the stage and commands it, and I would love to see him fight in, in a YouTube boxing event. Those are my thoughts and my opinions. Make sure to like, sub, and comment. Thank you for all the recent support. Peace!